Why would you or wouldn't you date yourself? I definitely wouldn't date me at the moment. Not because of my health or mental health issues but because I simply don't feel like giving that much of myself to a partner. This is the first time in my young adult life that I haven't been pulled super thin to the point I'm not able to tend to myself in a healthy way. I'm enjoying prioritizing my family and friends, as well as myself. And I've yet to find a guy who doesn't want 110 of me to the point of not even wanting me to see friends and family. And wants me to cook, clean and shop and be their therapist to vent too. I'm honest, not jealous or won't play a jealous game. I've never cheated, and I don't hit. I have a tendency to be self-centered I do balance me time with family time and relationship time I also get very obsessive about certain things, especially some new stuff that requires me to learn about at first. It would work splendidly amazing or very badly very quickly. My wife and I have a lot of opposite qualities, and share the very important ones. We have been married 15 years. I imagine if I dated myself it wouldn't be very good for long. I'm honest, not jealous or won't play a jealous game. I've never cheated, and I don't hit. I have a tendency to be self-centered I do balance me time with family time and relationship time I also get very obsessive about certain things, especially some new stuff that requires me to learn about at first. It would work splendidly amazing or very badly very quickly. My wife and I have a lot of opposite qualities, and share the very important ones. We have been married 15 years. I imagine if I dated myself it wouldn't be very good for long. I wouldn't date myself because I'm a sincerely awful person. I'm dishonest, untrustworthy, mean-spirited, underhanded, opportunistic, and secretive. I'm a thief. I'm quick to violence. I'm rude, disrespectful, and narcissistic. I am proud of myself for being perfectly willing to cut anyone out of my life over nothing, no matter how important they are to me. I value nothing over my personal pride and self-image, and I'll sacrifice anyone if it means I don't have to apologize to someone in a serious way, or make amends. So I found 27 good reasons why I would date myself, if I were a girl and 15 reasons why I wouldn't. With these odds, I'm pretty sure as a girl I wouldn't settle for myself and look for someone better. Funny enough this is what happened in my last relationship. Just stating that here is BDW. Reason number 12 and 9 why I would not date myself. Which is social media addicted and traumatized from my last relationship. But it is also reason number 10 and 21 why I would date myself, because I'm honest and an open. I would love to have a one night stand with myself, and I don't even do one night stands. But, yeah, I get on my own nerves. And, honestly, we'd know exactly how to handle each other so perfectly, I just think the relationship would get stale. There would be no more growth than what I can do on my own now. A good partner makes you see things in new lights makes you question things, and challenge yourself and beliefs. The dynamic makes you aware of your own boundaries and needs too. I wouldn't exactly date my clone as I don't want my partner that matches my personality perfectly. Sure, I want a partner that shares my interests and values, but I also want a partner that works well together with me, as my teammate. That means that I need someone to cover for my weaknesses to help me improve. Also, that I can help my partner overcome their weaknesses. I need someone who can help me my problems, and in return I can help them with theirs. I wouldn't. Because of my last relationship I lost my feminine side, have to put the pants on the relation. Now I know I need the total opposite, like before that relationship. But it's not easy to find, confused face, it's like I need someone like me, but the problem isn't the one who needs to change is female me, not male me. It's sad to be a grown-up woman and need a male who treats me like a spoiled princess just to be in touch again with my feminine side. I think I would because I give a lot to people and sometimes don't get much back so being the healing and not the healer would be nice for once and also because they would understand how I'd view the world and why I'm maybe more emotional. Also having the same taste and interest is hella cool same love language is a. But other than that it would mean that they'll be struggling mentally too and I don't wish that for them I. Hmm? I've never thought about this before. In some ways, I feel like I'm a great catch. I'm fairly attractive, nice smile, fun, amazing conversation. But I also present some challenges too. I've spent most of the last decade as a single mom. I'm very independent. I probably have an avoidant attachment style. I don't really need anyone. And I think lots of men need a woman to need them and I don't. Well, I'm not gay, I'm married, and there's only one of me. But in all seriousness, a female version of myself isn't someone who would be good for me to date. We'd obviously be too similar. The highs would be great, 
but we'd also bring each other into negative spirals a lot since we have all the same flaws. It's better to date someone who has some strengths that are different than yours. I'm attractive, I think I'm competent and have a pretty decent personality gathering that I generally get along with most people and the feedback I get. I'm empathetic, non-dramatic, have a decent sense of humor and I'm the not the dumbest person. But I'm fucking terrible at commitment and I'm quite selfish with me time. So I'd probably be the worst to date. I would date myself because I'm loyal and honest. I don't use anything else than alcohol on social settings. I take care of my body and hygiene. I know how to cook and do chores. I wouldn't date myself, because my body isn't perfect. I don't open up easily. My future job requires me to be away for months at a time. I don't show a lot of emotions, physically. Would totally date myself. I have broad tastes but I really like other tall big bi bearish dudes. Absolutely wouldn't want someone with my exact personality long term. Whether it's good or bad is irrelevant, it's just more of the same instead of a new dynamic. That said, we would have some fun and my husband would be thrilled. I just got out of a horrible marriage and I am unable to trust people. I second guess every relationship decision and have become extremely pessimistic interpreting people's actions. I as I currently am a horrible romantic partner because my insecurities rule my life. That and I am still not through the divorce process but one year in, I would not. I'm anxious, clingy and a little submissive in the bedroom. A male version of me would be the polar opposite of what I look for in a guy. I today also wouldn't be interested in me in my current iteration. I lack certain equipment that is a prerequisite for me to even consider you as a romantic sexual prospect. If there was a female version of me personality wise but not physically the same, I would, because we could hang out all day and not talk to each other but enjoy the company while also enjoying movies, anime, and video games. But if it was literally just me as a clone? No I wouldn't because I'm not gay or attractive to me. Well. Firstly I would want someone who mostly adds positively to my life experience than who diminishes how enjoyable life is. I detract, and I'm not going to bring that to someone else again. Secondly, I'm a mess who never turned things around. So it's lose-lose for anyone else. And that wouldn't be fair to them. Maybe but it wouldn't last. I'm versatile and can do a lot of things, especially DIY. I'm also emotionally unstable and have terrible depression and anxiety swings. I also have like zero friends so dating myself means we'd have no couple friends to hang out with. I just talked myself into a hard no on dating myself. Okay I have to admit I kinda have a thing where I'd love to have sex with a clone so I would 100 day myself. Sex aside, I'd say I'm also a pretty cool dude, and I mean obviously we do common interests so I'd finally have someone to do things with all the time. I'm tired of being alone all the time. I'm surprised the lack of introspection in the comments. If you wouldn't date yourself, why should anyone else? And the mindset that my bad qualities are balanced out by my partner's bad qualities is called codependency. Seriously, if you wouldn't date yourself and want a partner, then work on yourself. My initial reaction was no because my mental health sucks. But I think maybe I would actually do a good job taking care of me if I wasn't me, if that makes any sense lol. So maybe it's a yes. I'm kind and funny and I love hard. Thankfully my BF is the best. I don't know why he stays so and now. Hell yeah I would. We like all the same things. We can finish each other's sentences. We would support one another, helping carry the other when they're tired, knowing they will do the same when I'm exhausted from it. I'm a switch, so no problem in the bedroom. Things would be fucking great. As an already married man, it's all about support from a different perspective. I'm complacent. My wife reminds me to take action. I'm a little bit self-righteous overly moral at times, she reminds me to loosen up. I overindulge in a lot of pleasures, she reminds me to stay balanced. Same gender version maybe. Cuddles, going out but no sex. Opposite gender version would probably be the most intense passionate shit I have ever felt and I probably couldn't date anybody else ever again. I know what I need and if I can get it who boy I'm in for a really good time. I think my anxious side would be unsettled by my detached side but I would be massively entertained in the meantime. Plus, I already know what the secret key to my heart is, so yes I would oh wait, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now anyway. No. I'm too cynical. I usually fall for and end up with really cheerful and enthusiastic and optimistic people. If I was just with me I'd probably end up in a reciprocal misery cycle instead of properly balancing out and shifting and such. No. I heard a phrase once that sticks with me if you and your partner are the same in too many ways, one of you is unnecessary. 
It would be interesting to see what the opposite gender of myself would look like, but that's about it. Hell no. I'm a workaholic, business and career will always come first. I'm super protective of my free time, and not very compromising when it comes to how I want to spend my free time. I'm much better as a friend than a partner. I'd be more than happy to be friends, but I honestly couldn't imagine dating someone just like me. I know my own flaws, I don't think anyone should have to put up with me to that level. Not until I work the issues out at least. My buddy once said to me he wished I was a chick. Was super creepy. We're still great friends. Same answer for both parts. I want to live alone and have privacy. Have sleepovers at each other's places is perfect for me. I would never date myself because. 1. I'm pretty much a loser. No real ambitions or drive. 2. I'm insecure as hell. Who wants to deal with that dollar hit? 3. I have social anxiety issues. 4. I'm below average in the sack. Hell no. I live with my brain all day. I don't need to be in the presence of two brains that won't shut up and generally want quiet time. We'd never talk and when we do we'd drive our already crazy selves nuts. I'm an emotional, and psychological wreck that managed to hide everything but at the same time doesn't hide anything. I'm also not exactly smart or intelligent, can be quite careless and have a terrible memory. I would not date myself. You couldn't pay me. This isn't to say I'm a bad person but I have a loot of bad qualities. I also have a lot of good ones but I can't say for sure if they outweigh the bad. Hell no. I'm ugly as fuck, have depression, and I'm generally a lazy fuck. The only reason anyone dates me is because I have a job, a car, and an apartment which makes me semi-responsible looking. No. Two reasons. 1. I'm straight. 2. I don't want to exist in a thought bubble I like when people challenge my ideas and worldview and hearing about other opinions, ideas, and worldviews. I have a relationship ruining high sex drive. Dudes talk a lot of shit about being cool with that. Until they aren't. Usually that's after I get invested in the relationship too. I don't drive so I'm pretty codependent, I'm socially awkward, I've got the mood swings of a rabid raccoon trapped in a trash bag. In GL I judge my husband for putting up with it. Smiley face. I wouldn't because I am hyper independent due to trauma and would make for a shit girlfriend and would never spend time with a boyfriend. But I would because I have a fat ass, embarrassed smiley face. Why I would I'm really easy, so maybe I'd finally get some action. Why I wouldn't I have no sense of humor. This is meant to be ironic thanks to the previous explanation.